We're going to look at water molecules uh, in this screencast and we're going to look at uh, how you can draw a water molecule, how you show a water molecule is polar and how do they form hydrogen bonds. And uh, we'll start by just looking at a few symbols for water, uh, a simple, simple um, chemical formula, a little stick diagram. The sticks represent covalent bonds which are strong bonds that hold the hydrogen to the oxygen in both places. Here's one where there's a sort of ball and stick model and this one's a space field model which represents the, the space filled by the electrons and it's the electrons that cause water to have polarity. Um, if we look at the electrons around an oxygen atom and around the hydrogen atoms uh, because the hydrogen shares its only electron with the oxygen in both cases the oxygen has the electrons around its um, nucleus for more of the time than the hydrogen does um, and that means that they tend to have a negative charge on this side of the oxygen atom. We can write delta minus here to show a small negative charge and then around the hydrogen nucleus it doesn't have its electrons very much and the positive nucleus causes a very small delta positive delta plus a small positive charge you can have the same on both of the hydrogen atoms. And this is a polar water molecule. We could draw these symbols on any of these diagrams uh, above, apart from the, the simple um, formula here. So we can put on the side of here, we can put delta minus. Oops, sorry. Delta minus. Delta plus. Delta plus here. Or we could do the same thing. Delta minus. Delta plus. Delta plus. On here. And this shows the water molecule which is polar. And it's polar because it has a slightly positive pole, in fact two of them, and a slightly negative pole. So how does that cause it to form hydrogen bonds? Well, the interesting thing happens when you get two water molecules close to each other and the slight positive charge tends to attract the slight negative charge. And what happens in this case is that you get the formation of a weak bond called a hydrogen bond between these two opposite uh, charges and the opposite charges attract. And that uh, holds the water molecules a little bit more strongly together than they would otherwise be held together. And, and that's all a hydrogen bond is. If you put a lot of water molecules together, you get something a little bit more like this. And this would be a good diagram to be able to draw and to explain, um, to show how water molecules are polar molecules and how they form hydrogen bonds. In fact, here we've got a lattice of hydrogen bonds. The red dots here are for the hydrogen bond, and the water molecules are in black with the positive and the uh, negative poles illustrated with delta plus and delta minus. One thing to notice is that there's nearly a straight line across here. So when we try and draw the diagram from a blank page, uh, that will help us to put things in a good position. So let's start by drawing a water molecule with an oxygen on two hydrogens. And I think it's important to start putting the delta minus and the delta plus in the right places on this molecule. There you've shown a water molecule to be a polar molecule. Um, and now the delta plus is going to be attracted to a delta minus and that delta plus will be attracted to a delta minus below. Um, and we can even put in the force which would be three dots to show the hydrogen bond in both cases. And the delta minus, of course, is next to the oxygen of the next water molecule, which is covalently bonded to two hydrogens. The oxygen is next to the delta minus, covalently bonded to two hydrogen atoms. And each of these hydrogen atoms has a slight positive charge, delta plus.
And I think one more will do nicely, a delta minus, because there's an oxygen here with the hydrogen, another hydrogen. Must be completed, but delta plus there. Delta plus there. And the attraction between the delta plus and the delta minus creates our hydrogen bond. And so that would make a good diagram to illustrate how uh, a lattice of hydrogen bonds forms between water molecules, but you must label it. So I'll put some labels on here to show you what we're talking about. Uh, here I'm going to label the water molecule. We'll label a positive pole. A slight positive charge, and here we can label slight negative charge. And last of all, don't forget to label the hydrogen bond. And there's a diagram which illustrates that water molecule is polar. Uh, we could even add the word polar to our label for the water molecule. We know it has a slight positive around the hydrogen, a slight negative around the oxygen, and they've formed some hydrogen bonds between the hydrogen and the oxygen of adjacent water molecules. And that's that's your diagram.